So this lesson is just going to quickly recap uh, uncertainty when you're looking at doing your dilutions. So we have C2 is equal to C1 V1 over V2. Um, now that's obviously going to look like I'm going to do one of the dilutions here. 0 0.02 multiplied by 4 mil original. Uh, and then we have Uh, and then we have 4 plus 1 mil of water for our second volume. So we're adding 1 mil of water, 4 mils potassium iodate. So we can flesh that out a little bit more, start putting some uncertainties in here. We have 0 0.02 multiplied by 4 plus or minus 0 0.01, which was the micropipette, divided by 4 mils potassium iodate plus one mil of water. So we have absolute uncertainty here, uh, 0 0.01, and that's from the micro pipette, so that's absolute. All right, now there's a step here uh, where we actually add uh, some of these uncertainties together, and this is what you'll need to put in your um, sample calculation. So if we are, if we add or subtract we add absolute uncertainties. Now I'm just going to a different color here. Yeah, so this operation at the bottom, we're adding 4 and 1, so we need to add the absolute uncertainties here. So let's continue our equation down here. Uh, we're going to have, let's see here, 0 0.02. So we're going to be 0 0.02 multiplied by 4 plus or minus 0 0.01. Oh, that wasn't very clear. Over. 5, which is our second volume, uh, plus or minus. Now we're adding our absolute uncertainties from the step before. So 4 plus 1 is 5, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 is 0 0.02. So when you're looking at putting in your sample calculation if for this here, if we're adding or subtracting, that's the sample example you should use, uh, this part here where you've added uncertainties to get your uh, V2, your final volume there. Now there's an example coming up where you'll have to use, um, you'll have to use relative uncertainties. So if we multiply or divide, we still add the uncertainties, but this time we add relative uncertainty. So we've got multiplication on the top, however this, let me just go to a different color here, this 0 0.02 doesn't have a an uncertainty associated with it, so we don't really have to worry about that one. Um, so 0 0.02 times 4, but once we do the division here, uh, we'll need to add those uncertainties, so we need to add the 0 0.01 and the 0 0.02, but because we are dividing, we need to add relative uncertainty. So we'll need to change those to from absolute uncertainty to relative, which will look like, uh, let's just go down here, uh, 0 0.02 multiplied by 4 plus or minus 0.25% divided by 5, plus or minus 0.4%. So now we've got our relatives, we can just do the calculation and then we can add up our relative uncertainties here. So finally we're going to have concentration 2 is equal to 0 0.016 plus or minus 0.65%. 
0.8%. So there's another sample calculation you can do, and I'll draw this in a different color here. Um, the idea of if we multiply or divide, we add relative uncertainty. Well, an example of that is what you've just done here. You've turned these absolute uncertainties, these 0 0.1 and 0 0.02, and you've turned them into relative. You've turned them into relative uncertainties. So we can apply this rule here. If we multiply or divide, we add relative uncertainties. So that's a sample calculation. Uh, this here is a sample calculation for this rule of adding or subtracting. We add absolute uncertainties. There's an example above it. Um, and very quickly, you've got your formulas here. So relative uncertainty is equal to the absolute uncertainty over the measurement multiplied by 100. And that will give you obviously a percent. If you've got, let's just say you've got, um, you know, 0.65% here, you've got a relative you need to get back to absolute, you would do the following. Absolute equals relative multiplied by the measurement. In this case, the measurement is the uh, molarity, by the way. So absolute relative multiplied by measurement divided by 100. And that will give you the absolute uncertainty of this concentration here. So hopefully that helps. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Good luck.